Hey, what's going on out there? Have any of you heard about all of these rivians being drained by vampires? Anybody have any suggestions on how to protect them? Think garlic may work? Holy water? Maybe a werewolf? Think a werewolf can help out? Rivian, do you have any answers? Oh, goodness. Please help! <laughs> Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing vampires. And no, not the ones that are from Transylvania that drain your blood. We're going to be talking about those real vampires that drain your bank account. And some of you know what I'm talking about. And so today we're going to be discussing what vampire drain is, the causes of vampire drain, and what you can do to mitigate it. So the first contributing factor to vampire drain is the size of the battery. Yes, the size of the battery matters. And that's because the bigger the battery, the more internal resistance. And what that is going to do is going to make it harder for the battery to, to hold capacity and harder to charge, especially when it's cold outside. And so that's just something to keep in mind. So if you're new to EVs or if you were in a smaller EV before, such as a Tesla Model 3 with a smaller battery, you're going to be experiencing a lot more range loss in the cold than we, what you were before. And that's just something to keep in mind. And that is because of the size of the battery. And the next contributing factor that goes along with the size of the battery is the temperature. The colder it is outside, the harder it is for that battery to, to create its, its chemical and physical reactions it needs to, to generate that electricity. And so it's going to be much harder for that vehicle to maintain charge or capacity, or either and even to charge the colder it is outside. And this is true for all electric vehicles. This is not just specific to Rivian, but Rivian is gonna be more prone to this because the battery is so big. It, this battery is, a, is approximately 135 kilowatt hours. So that's a big battery, a lot bigger than the battery that would be in a Tesla Model S, for example, which was like 100 kilowatt hours, or the Model 3, which is, I believe, 70 kilowatt hours. And so you're gonna experience a lot more capacity loss in this bigger vehicle. And so even if you are in a market for the Max Pack, that battery is even, even bigger. So you're gonna experience even more vampire drain in colder weather if you get that bigger battery so if you're gonna if you have that on order just make sure you keep this in mind that when it's cold outside it's going to be harder to charge and it's going to cost you more money to charge that vehicle up throughout the year because of all of the capacity loss another contributing factor to vampire drain is the intelligent battery management system and what that does is it, that's the system that may make sure that the batteries operating at the optimum temperature and Rivian has a battery heater and so once the ambient temperature drops to a certain level the heater kicks on to make sure the battery is at a certain temperature and that's, that's there to to protect the battery to make sure that battery is not damaged and it also increases the longevity of the battery and you have to keep in mind that the battery on electric vehicles is by far the most expensive component. And usually the one with the longest warranty. Uh, for example, this Rivian R1T has a warranty on the battery for eight years, 175,000 miles. And because of that, you have to understand from Rivian's perspective, they are going to protect that battery. They're going to protect that battery at all costs. And so they're going to make sure all these systems are in place battery heater the intelligent management system is working to make sure this battery is, is operating at a at the temperature where it's not being damaged to where they're going to end up having to having to replace a battery before the warranty is out and so just keep that in mind okay the next thing we're going to discuss is contributing to vampire drain is the telematics control module and what that is it's a communication device that's on the top of your vehicle it looks like a shark fin and what that does is it communicates with all the systems in the vehicle and it just sends that, that information to the cloud. So it, it, it sends and receives information. And this is how you get your over the air updates. This is how they can do remote vehicle diagnostics. 
And this is how they do their data analytics also for product development. And who knows how much data they're pulling from the vehicle. And one thing to keep in mind is that all the manufacturers collect data from these telematic control modules on these vehicles. And one advantage that they have is like Ford and, and GM, they have hundreds of thousands of cars on the road. So they can use all these cars, gas cars, electric cars, to collect all this data to do the mapping for Blue Cruise and Super Cruise. But Rivian doesn't have that advantage. They only have a few vehicles, you know, less probably less than 50,000 vehicles on the road. And these vehicles are the only ones they can pull data from, to, you know, for product improvement, for road mapping. And so you have to suspect they're probably pulling out a lot more data than, they, than GM or Ford would have to do with their vehicles. And they GM and Ford, they can spread this to their gas vehicles so it's not impacting any type of range or anything like that. And yeah, so probably only the Rivian engineers really know how much uh, the, the pulling data from the uh, telematics control module is contributing to, to this vampire drain. And we'll probably never know, but uh, just understand that it, it could be very little. Yeah. So while one of these things may not be the uh, major cause, taken together, all of these things can be adding up to uh, contribute to significant vampire drain. And the, the most significant will be the temperature, you know, because it's going to have to keep the battery warm. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and some of the things you can do to help mitigate vampire drain is that if it's cold outside, Make sure you park your vehicle inside a garage or some other type of enclosed structure. Or if you can't do that, make sure you keep your, your Rivian plugged in. And if you have to leave it at the airport uh, before you go on your trip, make sure you charge your Rivian as high as you can possibly get it. Because while sitting idle, it will be losing capacity every day. And this is true for all electric vehicles. And even more so for the Rivian because of the size of the battery and all the things I discussed earlier. And some of the other things you could do is you can go into and shut some of the systems down, like gear guard. Uh, you can go into your privacy settings to shut down navigation, location. You can shut down data analytics. So these are just some of the things you could do to help mitigate range loss. Now, would it keep uh, range loss from not happening? No, uh, but it will help mitigate it some to where it could be the difference of you having to replace 12 volt batteries at $1,200 a pop, and you've been able to drive to your next destination without issue. So just keep that in mind. Well, that's all I have for today, and I hope you've gotten some value out of this and you have a good understanding as to why this vampire drain is happening and some things you can do to help prevent it. And if you did, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I'm hoping you're having a great day, and if you're not, just know tomorrow can be a better day if you choose for it to be. And I will see you on the next video.